It was the first decade of a new century. A young architect named Frank Lloyd Wright harbored a vision of a new American building that would dispense with historical references and exploit new technologies and plans. Wright's architecture was influenced in part by his personal beliefs as a member of the local Unitarian congregation. In 1906, Wright was asked by his minister to submit a plan for a new church building. The importance of this building and the development of early modern architecture, particularly American architecture, cannot be underestimated. It was seen by Wright, even at the time, as being one of his most important works. Therefore, one has to acknowledge the fact that this is not only one of Wright's most important buildings, but one of the most important buildings in the United States, certainly of the early 20th century. It has to do with going beyond oneself and seeing the significance of a building like this and its contribution to our collective cultural heritage. This building speaks not just to its congregation, not just to the people of Oak Park, and not just to the people of the greater Chicago area, but indeed to the world. We went out and took a very good look at the building, took a ton of photographs, and we identified a number of obvious problems. Cantilevered roof slabs that are deflecting too much. They included pieces of concrete on the bottoms of those cantilevered slabs that were apparently loose and appeared like they might be ready to fall. We have a two-way network of concrete beams that frame across the top of the uh, temple here. You'll see some obvious distress. There's a crack on that wall to the right. And if you look right over our head here, we have obvious peeling paint. This is a very unique and very historic building in the sense that it's uh, recognized by most people as the first application of concrete, reinforced concrete, as both a structural element as well as an architectural element. It's exposed. It's not just a hidden structural beam or a hidden structural column, but this is the first time an architect was bold enough to really just put it out there in front of, of God and everybody, so to speak. And it's widely recognized as one of the most historic buildings in the United States because of that. Protect it and make it last as long as possible and make it as beautiful as possible. And try to keep it looking the way Frank Lloyd Wright wanted it to. Future generations want to be able to come here and experience this wonderful space, understand what it was that Frank Lloyd Wright was trying to achieve with it, and to get the sense of continuity of the legacy of Wright and this building in, uh, in the history of modern architecture. The building has some basic fundamental problems that need to be addressed and are being addressed. If these aren't remedied now, the building condition will only continue to deteriorate, making costs and ultimately the long-term preservation much more difficult to deal with. So the time is now to act. Unity Temple, if restored and properly maintained, can last for centuries.